So last week we discovered that the Metropolitan Police over the last two years have conducted more than 600 intrusive, traumatising strip searches on children. Mm -hmm. Including children as young as 10. Needless to say, unsurprisingly, black children have been overwhelmingly targeted, especially black boys. It came to light after the case of Child Q, who was a young black girl who was dragged out of an exam because somebody said they thought they could smell cannabis, and she was subjected to a strip search which included asking her to remove her tampon. Um, the way they're behaving is absolutely Disgusting, and at the same time, we've also discovered that out of 32,000 police districts in the country, more than half last year didn't make a single arrest for burglary. So if you think, well, we need the police because otherwise who's going to stop someone burgling my house? The answer is they're not. That All they're going to do is write it down and give you a crime number. They're not going to investigate. They're not going to try and put cases together and figure out whether there's a pattern or there's a lot happening in one area and then, you know, do something to figure out who might be doing it. Look for fingerprints, look for evidence, all the things that you think they're going to do. They're not going to do those things. They're just going to give you a crime reference number. And unless you know who it is, they're basically not going to do anything else. And I've had reason to be in touch with the useless police um, this week, the Metropolitan Police, um, not that others aren't useless, but in my experience, the Metropolitan Police are absolutely the worst in the country. Um, so very unfortunately this week I've been doxxed, which means that some anti-feminist campaigners have published my home address on a list of targets online. And like terrifyingly, the things that they're saying I've said, I haven't even said, which is like, they went to all this trouble to research and find out my home address, you know, like I'm not on the electoral register, I'm very careful about keeping that stuff uh, private. Um, but they didn't bother to research whether I actually said the stuff that they're saying that I've said. But regardless of what I've said, obviously I shouldn't be on a, a list like this. So um, we contacted the Metropolitan Police and they have very carefully explained to us that doxing is not a crime. And I mean, it is. There are very specific laws which have been drafted and written specifically to target doxing because it was a rising issue and because it's a threat to people's safety. Um, but regardless, I mean, the police, when they join, right, they make a promise that their, their duty is to protect the public. And clearly, the public are at risk under these circumstances. Not that I feel particularly bothered right now because obviously I'm in Scotland, but I don't want people coming around and bothering my housemate, my cat, visitors to my house, damaging my property, all that kind of stuff, obviously. And, and when I do get back to London, of course, I don't want um, to be at risk when I'm there. So we've got this situation in which the police are doing a bunch of stuff that is making people's lives worse and isn't solving crime. In fact, it turns out with these 600 children that they've strip searched, um, m most of them, they then took no further actions. So they didn't find anything that they could do anything with. They didn't go anywhere with the investigation. And OK, you know, there are a few where they did. But what did they find? Like a little bit of marijuana? Like, is this really worth the invasive, intrusive, traumatising experience of being strip searched by police officers, essentially, for being black and having a teacher who's suspicious or someone who's decided to, to dob you up, or indeed police officers themselves initiating this kind of thing. We've all, we're also seeing that the courts are now throwing out all of the cases related to the Sarah Everard um, vigil and basically saying that the police were ridiculous to be so heavy-handed and so violent with members of the public who were just there trying to express their sorrow at something horrific which let's just be clear the police had done i'm left wondering whether in fact the police in general and specifically the met police commit more crime than they solve i strongly suspect that they do we know there are 150 serving officers who've been convicted of serious crimes, including rape and sexual assault and um, things like uh, violence, GBH, things like that. Um, and of course, there must be so many more who are, who are guilty of other things. And then you think about the things that the police are like allowed to do because we decide that they're responsible. So, of course, they're allowed to drive around the streets way faster than the speed limit. And I'm totally OK with that when it's a fire engine or an ambulance getting to an emergency. But since we know that the police are arriving probably to do nothing, probably just to give you a crime number and quite possibly in a lot of cases to perform an unnecessary and intrusive search on a child, some of them as young as 10, 
I don't understand why we continue to grant them those privileges and I don't understand why we continue to kind of fund what they're doing. And I think it's time that we basically closed them down and started a new crime investigation agency that takes reports of crimes and actually investigates and tries to identify who's committing crimes and then takes action rather than tearing around the streets being heavy-handed putting people at risk with because when you're breaking the speed limit we are more at risk of having accidents and people losing their lives to car accidents why can we not just close this down and get and, and start something new because it is quite, quite obvious that what the police and especially the Met Police are doing now is embedded in a culture of racism, of sexism and in an absolute disinterest in keeping the public safe, which should be their job. Let's just decide it's game over and start something new. See you next week. <laughs>